Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. What a fun day to be in crypto. Green markets, as far as the eye can see. <laughs> I'm sure you've heard by now, uh, Bitcoin broke above $47,000 today. And what's, uh, what's fun and exciting about that in particular, other than just the plain old price action, is the fact that it did that without the news breaking that the SEC has officially approved a spot Bitcoin ETF. This is just the market anticipating things, obviously. And everything's green. XRP's up, ETH's up, you pick your coin. Uh, I mean, maybe there, you could find an outlier too, but it's just a sea of green. It's fantastic. And I, I'll tell you this, you know, and I've, so actually I've got a perspective from a couple analysts, uh, XRP chart analysts. One of them says that even if nothing changes, the way things are set up right now, he's expecting XRP to go to $13.72. And, uh, and I'll get all the specifics as to why he's saying that a little bit later in the video here. But even setting that aside, I will tell you, um, I personally expect that XRP will be impacted uh, by approval of the spot Bitcoin ETF simply because it's, you know, it's going to, well, it's going to make the entire market explode. That's a no-brainer, right? But um, I personally think XRP will certainly benefit more from a Bitcoin ETF than Bitcoin will benefit from a Bitcoin ETF. Like, what do you think the multiplier effect will be for Bitcoin from this exact moment, and what do you think it will be for XRP as the market gets even hotter because of this? I'm willing to hazard a guess here, XRP is going to be outpacing Bitcoin here, which historically you should expect anyway, just because there's way more money in Bitcoin. It's, it's always going to be harder to have Bitcoin get a, a greater multiplier effect at this point. There's so much damn money in it. So as long as XRP is going to continue to be relevant, and I firmly believe it will, Things going to be looking good. But anyway, before going further, I do want to be clear, I do not have a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice. And you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who enjoys making YouTube videos about crypto-related topics, but just as a hobby and just for fun. All right, so uh, as I record this, XRP is just a hair shy of 58 cents, and it did break above that a bit earlier today. You've got, um, oh, where's Bitcoin? Here's Bitcoin, 46,972. 24-hour um, high, 47,225 bucks. And again, this is before the ETF news, so I still think, even though I don't want to go into my whole spiel again, but I think that this is going to be a sell the news event when this comes, but that doesn't mean you won't first see a big blast to the upside. That's going to be fun. And if I'm wrong, that's fine. Maybe it's not a sell the news event. I could be wrong. Uh, but uh, even if it's a sell the news event, that's not going to scare me in the least. It's, it's just people taking profit. And they're, it, historically, when you're, in a, when you're in bull mode, it's normal to have over 20 or 30% pullbacks. There were, there were like six of them in 2017, over 30% pullbacks of, of the price of Bitcoin. So it, it's not exactly going to worry me. <laughs> uh, here you have the Crypto Fear and Greed Index at 71 out of 100. People will be feeling pretty confident. Uh, now take a look at this, because there are people out there that believe in this narrative that a ton of money is going to flow into these Bitcoin ETFs. And since it's backed by actual Bitcoin, it's just going to make the price just go bananas in a way that has never happened in Bitcoin's 15-year history. Now... I'm not denying that we could see some serious, incredible, impressive fireworks right out the gate, but in terms of the actual supply causing that, you know, the, because of the money flowing into these products, uh, I'm skeptical of that. Uh, it, again, happy to be wrong, but um, I, my, my anticipation is that, yes, these products are going to be incredibly meaningful over a span of years and decades, but right out the gate, if we see tremendous fireworks, that's not necessarily an indication it's because money flew into the ETFs and that resulted in a bunch of Bitcoin purse. But um, here's a post from a British HODL and social media platform X, who seems to be a bit more optimistic than me. And that's fine. I said, understand this. There is probably not a single day in Bitcoin's history uh, where there has been a net inflow of more than $1.5 billion long on Bitcoin. And the ETFs are about to get a mandate to buy roughly $3.5 billion in the space of five days, with the bulk of it coming in on day one. No one is ready. Okay, I, I, I want that to be true. You want that to be true, right? That would be fantastic. Could be. Could be. I'm not going to deny it. But uh, I just, I'm still just sitting here thinking like, and, and it, by the way, just to be clear, it is true um, from what I've read. That trading for this thing, like say we get approval on the 10th, which is Wednesday, so it's two days from now, say that's when it happens, trading for these ETF products could begin the very next day. So I'm not saying that there couldn't be quick inflows, but does it all flow in literally like right then? Is the money lined up? 
I mean, we're going to find out, but still, I, I just, I would argue, even if so, fine, the market gets even hotter, but wouldn't you then, shortly after that, see a notable pullback? I don't know, Credible Crypto, he reposted that and said, like I said, a buy the rumor, buy the news event. So I'm saying, and it's, I think it's a sell the news event, he thinks it's a buy the news event, he could absolutely be correct. I'm sure there's a lot of you listening that have varied opinions on this. Um, I would love to be wrong. I, like, no, I've never wanted to be wrong more than this in the world of crypto. So we'll, we'll see. Um, and then he, he also uh, noted, uh, Incredible Crypto said, I see the buying has started Bitcoin. Oh, yes, indeed. It certainly has. <laughs> and then in a separate post, this was um, 1.46 p.m. Central time. He said, the answer was in the tweets was expecting a breakdown on ETH slash BTC because of the expectation of a Bitcoin melt up as we approach ETF approval, and we have gotten exactly that. ETH slash BTC has broken down as Bitcoin breaks above local supply in the mid 45,000s. Who wants a new video update to discuss it all in more depth? And so it's, it's not that there's something horrifically wrong with ETH. He's just saying, uh, look at what's outpacing. And so... Again, we'll see what happens now. Credible Crypto, he is one of the guys that says, yeah, it's a buy the news event, which is kind of rare, but, uh, you know, just in crypto in, in general. Uh, he could be right, and he also believes firmly that we are going to be seeing a Bitcoin hit a new all-time high sooner rather than later, and I do hope he's right. Like, the amount of confidence I'll have in the rest of my investments, specifically XRP, should that occur, will be through the roof. Um, then there was also this from my fellow XRP YouTuber, the blockchain backer. This is a Bitcoin market cap dominance chart. And I just I just love this. He wrote, Bitcoin market cap hits 0.618 Fibonacci retracement level as Bitcoin ETF decision nears. We said for two years we'd get here. Thousands screamed it had never happened. Now they FOMO in. <laughs> it isn't that always how it works, folks. Do you remember the end of 2022 specifically after the FTX collapse and the beginning of 2023? Oh, no, we're going to $12,000 Bitcoin. We're going down. Well, when people scream the loudest at those moments, frequently it's an indicator that things are actually about to get a lot better. And what have we seen? We've been in bull mode for over a year and people are finally sufficiently paying attention. Um, not that we're in full retail mode. Like you'll know when the retail gets here and the celebrities come back and we'll hear more diamond hand, laser eyes, BS. That's all coming. Um, but that's that's another reason it's kind of exciting to see this price point. If, if some of these analysts are correct about us going to a new all-time high for Bitcoin this year, and we'll see, because uh, not everyone agrees, should that occur, my God, like, just, just understand, we're already at this level without a massive increase in retail. Uh, then there was this from uh, chart analyst Dark Defender talking about XRP. He said, total market cap was $816 billion one year ago. Today's total market cap is $1.693 trillion. And with the third wave, it will be $23.24 trillion within a year. So even if all stays the same, XRP would be $13.72 without considering the regulatory clarity utility, just saying. Um... That would be fantastic. So look, the idea of the crypto asset class getting to the tens of trillions of dollars, I mean, I said that six years ago. Not pretending to know what the timing would be. He, he thinks it's going to be up to that level within a year. I'd love to see that. And he's saying even if things proportionally stay where they are now, you're going to see XRP at over $13, almost $14, which to me doesn't sound crazy. I don't know if it's going to happen and I don't make price predictions. That doesn't sound remotely crazy. This is the world of crypto, and I'm telling you, like when XRP goes, it really goes. And I know people can have this defeatist attitude at times when price goes sideways too long because, you know, humans are humans. But uh, I'm telling you, the, the way that people treat individual cryptocurrencies, the way that they uh, speculate many times irrationally and not in a safe manner, FOMOing into stuff, there is no reason that XRP would be the only large cap coin where that is not treated like that. Of course, it's going to be treated like that. The people that don't want to buy XRP right now, uh, maybe they're complaining. It's just, look, it's just a new inside. Why would I want that? Those are the people who will buy at five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars. We have seen this time and again with every other cryptocurrency in existence that's gone on a run. This is what happens. That it's viewed because humans are stupid, and so <laughs> I know I am one. So, but but uh, humans are stupid, and and so uh, it, it, they just they view it as a validation. The oh, the prices of that I got. That, well, it's validated now. 
But the time to get it in is before the masses think that. And so that's the thing that makes crypto easy to me is just, just having broad exposure and then just holding. And then, you know, like you're in before everybody else. That's why I just buy stuff and don't do anything else. I don't have to worry about a whole lot then. I mean, crypto is risky, sure. And there could be rug pulls, this or that, but man. Uh, then there was this from Chart Analyst Alley. XRP slash Tether US perpetual contract one day Binance chart on your screen here. And he said the following. From this perspective, the governing pattern behind XRP price action since June 2022 appears to be an ascending parallel channel. And folks, let's pause and note, that's, uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm pulling from memory, but I think it's correct that the low for this cycle that we saw for XRP, I believe it was June of 2022, I, I saw it get as low as, I think, 28 cents. So that that was the bottom. He, and he said here again, we've been seeing an ascending parallel channel ever since then. And then he says, if this pattern continues, XRP could make its way toward the channel's middle or upper boundaries, which currently sit at 80 cents and $1 and 10 cents, respectively. And so folks, uh, that he's talking about in the short term, obviously, there. Buck 10 in the short term, potentially. Wouldn't mind it. Uh, here is uh, another post from Al. He said, The weighted market sentiment for XRP has dipped to its lowest negative point since mid-May 2023. For contrarian XRP investors who prefer to go against the crowd, this could be an intriguing signal. Moments like these can present unique opportunities in the market. Yeah, and so I've talked about this concept many times, but when things seem the most bleak, very frequently, that is when there's actual, actually optimal opportunity. When people think, ah, it's never going to go, it's going down or it's going sideways and everybody's screaming bloody murder. You look back and you're like, oh yeah, that point where the people are flipping out, that would have been a great time to buy because then XRP went to $14, right? <laughs> so, I mean, we'll see what happens. I'm not actually predicting it, but... <laughs> um, Everything looks fantastic. I hope everybody's having as much fun as I am. I love being in crypto. This is my most favoriteest hobby I've ever had, running this YouTube channel and being in all this. I'm not a financial advisor. You should not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambeau.